Hey, I just wanted to do a follow-up on my Koala Rider review. Um, if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it below this one. But, but in that video, I walked you through how Koala Rider worked, how impressed I was with it. And I said I would do a follow-up to see if any of the content I'm creating with Koala Rider, since it is AI content, to see if any of it actually ranks. So in this follow-up video, I'm going to go through kind of what I did and how that is ranking. So, so I've been using Koala Writer to create some content for a software I sell called Affiliate Ninja. So Affiliate Ninja is a software that allows you to put great looking Amazon product review boxes in your site. So I was looking for some keywords I could target that would kind of bring in some pre-qualified visitors. So what I've been doing is targeting keywords related to other software related to mine. So one of those is a software called AAWP. So what I did is I fired up my Mangul's keyword research tool, which is one I personally like to use. And the reason I like to use it is it automates the process of doing the autocomplete in Google. So, you know, anyone can go use a keyword tool like Ahrefs, Longtail Pro, or, you know, there's just no shortage of keyword tools out there. But what you have to realize is everyone else is using those tools as well. So all the keywords you're finding, everyone targeting the same topic is finding those as well. So I like to use autocomplete, which is just simply when you go to Google and you start typing something and Google completes the sentence for you or completes the word for you and find some more under the radar keywords that I can target that maybe everyone else is not. So I did it for AAWP, which again is a competitor of mine and I use the autocompete. And one of them I found going through these was AAWP Alternative. So basically, people looking for an alternative to that software, my software would be a perfect alternative. So great keyword to target. Now again, not a ton of traffic. I'm not going for big traffic keywords. Again, I'm creating this content with AI. Uh, and this one has a 28, which isn't too bad. So you can see it's in the green. Uh, we can look at the SERP overview. The number one ranked site has a DA of 22, and there's a 24, a 33, a 38, all which are lower than the DA of my site. So I went ahead and targeted that. So again, I used Koala Writer to write me an article on AAWP alternatives. I posted it to my site. It's been a couple weeks now, and we can go look and see if it's ranking. So you can see in the rank tracking software I'm using, my article on AAWP alternative is currently in the 11 spot. So not bad. I'm already ranked just off the first page. Again, AI created content. I did make some upta updates to the content, which I always recommend you do. But again, no problem ranking this. So now that I know that my AI content ranked me number 11, just like that, I'm going to go ahead and really go through and kind of update the content, add a bunch of images and all of that to make it even better now that I know it's easy to rank for. So again, instead of me spending a ton of money and a ton of time either outsourcing this article or writing it myself and then finding out I'm not ranking for it, why not just use AI, create a quick article. I think the article is still over a thousand words. I posted it on my site, gave it a couple weeks and you can see right there it's already ranking number 11. So I know it's a keyword I can rank for and probably rank pretty well for now if I go back in and make the article even better. So I'm gonna go in, make some edits to it, add even more helpful content, probably add some images all of that and really make it SEO friendly and see what the ranking does. So again, I just wanted to do that follow up because I think the biggest question people have with these AI content generators is will the content rank? Now, Koala Writer has a very different formula. It's not just like going, in, going into chat GPT and taking that content and posting it on your site. What they do is they actually go out to the search engines to help them create the content. So we can see in here, right here we have SEO optimization. So it will analyze the top rankings and extract up to 100 relevant keywords. And basically that helps them write the article. So again, it's, you're not getting the same content you would get if you just went to chat GPT. That content probably would have a harder time ranking. Uh, but Koala Writer kind of takes it a step farther and creates much better content with a lot more options. Now also with manual, I can go ahead and I can add other keywords I want it to use in here. Or of course we can use the AI powered or the default. We can also kind of change the tone of it. So it gets a lot of different results than you would get just from blindly using chat GPT. Um, and my favorite part is the Amazon product roundups. That's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna post one of those and see how that ranks. But for right now, just using the blog post, I had no problem 
ranking with their content. So I highly rec recommend you check out Koala Writer, especially if you're starting to use some AI content. One thing I love it for is just testing keywords. Just create an article with AI, post it on your site, maybe do a little cleanup and see if it ranks. And if you can get in the first couple of pages, you know that's a keyword you can now rank for by really digging into that article, making it very SEO friendly and adding everything else into it. And you don't waste the time spending a whole bunch of money or your time creating these articles never to rank. So I think it's a great testing tool. And really it can be more than just testing because if I could target some real low competition keywords then I bet you I could rank first page, upper first page for those pretty easily. Uh, using Koala Writer. So I highly re recommend you check that out. If you're in need of a keyword research tool, I love the Mangles uh, keyword tool. I'll put a link to that below as well. And go ahead and start testing these out. 